afternoon, everybody. We are at St Helens Langtree Park as the curtain raiser to tonight's Clash of the Titans at Anfield. It's Liverpool under 19s who take centre stage as they host Real Madrid. We start with the two lineups. And Neil Critchley's Liverpool, well, three changes from the loss in Basel. Shea Ojo has picked up a groin injury, so he misses out on this one. Pedro Chinevella and Sam Hart are also on the injury list. But the good news for Liverpool is that Ryan Kent is fit again. Harry Wilson comes into the starting lineup, and Jordan Rossiter, who returned from injury himself, off the bench for the under 21s in Anfield against Southampton last week. All eyes on the number nine, though. 18 year old Jerome Sinclair, top scorer overall in the UEFA Youth League, with four goals in two games. As for the opposition, Real Madrid. Head coach Luis Miguel Ramos, a former player with Real Madrid. They will play a 4-2-3-1 formation, but the two fullbacks, we're told, like to get forward a lot. So Rob Jones, who coaches the academy youngsters, working with Neil Critchley and Alex Inglethorpe, was telling me he's been having specific training sessions at the Kirby Academy yesterday with Joe Maguire and the 16-year-old Corley Whelan in how to deal with that. Borja Maharel, the number nine, certainly knows where the goal is. Look out, though, for Jack Harper, who joined Real Madrid's academy in 2009. His parents moved to Morengarola over the Costa del Sol. Both his parents are Scottish. He's a Scotland under-17 international. Rossiter is there, charging at the opposition. Determination from the Liverpool captain. He had no right to win a free kick, but he's done so well then. Oh, as you like to say, determination is the word. Just wanted it more. Again, it's the hero that comes across a little bit high. I think that's one thing you have to learn as a player as well, even at this level in European football. Any high feet, more often than not, it's a free kick. Oh, he's had about two goals of the cherry, hasn't he? Young Adam Phillips, it looks as if it's going to be it's Harry Wilson or Ryan Kent to take it on this occasion. Ryan Kent, I think it is, going to whip it in. Again, Bruitt and Cleary are forward. Brannigan is hovering at the back post ominously. What sort of delivery can Ryan Kent produce here for the Young Reds here at Langtree Park? Referee, Mr. Doyle, just so you can keep your hands down. It's a great effort in the end by Kent. He went for goal, and he actually wasn't that far away. Well, it's great variation, great vision. If he meant it, I think he does mean it. I think he obviously anticipates the goalkeeper Oliveros to try and go for the cross. by Brannigan, Wilson! Oh, he's so close again, Harry Wilson. It was great play by young Cameron Brannigan down that left-hand side to instigate the attack. And Harry Wilson with the acrobatics. Look at this, though, for Brannigan. This is brilliant. Well, fantastic play by young Cameron Brannigan. He's got good feet and it's a good delivery. It may just come a little bit high. Rossiter to Sinclair, and now Brannigan. It might fall here for Ryan Kent, and Wilson must be incredible, hit the post. And Sinclair, the goalkeeper hasn't got it, and Brannigan scores! Cameron Brannigan, he had to go in. That was incredible, Gary Gillespie. Well, for an instance, I thought it would be on the trip and go with the situation, but they had it, and in the end, Liverpool just smoked the body and the ball to the bodies. I thought this was offside to go this way. I thought Harry Wilson had to put that in. I think the referee's assistant might have given it offside. Oliveros doesn't know where the ball is. Credit to Jerome Sinclair because he makes a nuisance of himself. And it's young Cameron Brannigan that comes with the fall off. And this is a cool finish. He could easily just come on and blast it down. No, he doesn't. He gets his head up. He picks his spot into the bottom right hand corner. Liverpool get it and start the deserve. 1 0. on by Corey Whelan and that ricocheted off Phillips and Wilson's in again he's got Sinclair in the middle he's done well Harry Wilson to save it the linesman's flagging what the 
decision is it going to be here? The referee didn't give the decision. I think Gary Gillespie has given something right on the edge of the box. It's a yellow card for Kosevich. I think he's a lot got unlucky for I must think that I thought Harley Wilson. I thought the, the defender had done well. I thought he held him up, he made the challenge, and I thought Harry Wilson, albeit there might have been a little bit of contact, I think he went down to the ground pretty easy. I think the referee's assistant for me maybe got that one wrong. You'd have to see the replay, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, it gives Liverpool a good opportunity from a free kick in a dangerous position. I think Kozevich is a little bit unlucky to get the free kick away, even more unlucky to get a yellow card. So it is outside, but young Harry Wilson, Ryan Kent already went close in the opening stages from the opposite flank, but Wilson with his left foot is capable. Oh, it must be this! It's Tom Bruins who makes it number two! Again, the woodwork involved with a Liverpool assist. What an effort by Harry Wilson, and Tom Bruins, the captain of Liverpool under-18s, makes it 2-0. What a start for Neil Critchley and Alex Inglethorpe's team. Well, Real Madrid just looked a little bit shell-shocked. They can't quite believe the start. This is a free kick that really... Uh, you know, well, maybe he has a little bit of a second go at Harry Wilson. They might have been a little bit unkind to the young Welshman, but this is what it's all about. A free kick, it's a wonderful free kick, bending all the way away from the goalkeeper, Oliveros. And he's a little bit unfortunate it doesn't go in from that direct from the free kick. Bebas. It's the best spell here that Madrid have had so far. Tejero with a cross. Falls it with a brilliant save to deny Jack Harper. What a great save that was. Bebas with a shot. Charged down by Cleary. Danger still not over there. Sergio putting him on again. And Rossiter in it down, kick it out. What's a weak back pass, a brilliant play by Harry Wilson. Now can he keep his composure? It's a good save, Sinclair for the follow-up. Off the line by Kosevich. Extraordinary action at the Real Madrid goal mouth. Real Madrid for the slip, May Haral, unselfish, Christian Sedas, what a tackle by Rossiter, Alex Fevas, this is Regalon from left back, oh that's a late challenge by Adam Phillips, that is a definite penalty, rush challenge by the youngster, after Liverpool cleared the pressure, in the end Adam Phillips rushed out, Ball just comes into the box from Reguilo, the left full back, and then it takes an awful deflection, it just bounces up and Adam Phillips, he doesn't really see the player behind him, and he just goes to clear it, but he does catch the Real Madrid player. So, Borja, Meharal with the penalty. And an opportunity here for Real Madrid. against Ryan Fulton, Meharal, oh, it was a shocking penalty. I can only recall ever seeing a penalty like that when David Beckham slipped up, taking one for England. Well, I think Meharal slips as well. He, uh, he's got to have slipped, because that is pretty dreadful. Yeah, you can see, he just plants his left foot. It's actually, heel goes down first, I think. It's a dangerous ball in, and Joe Maguire taking no chances. Well, they're dead awkward to deal with these balls. The bounce just in front of you as a centre-back or as a full-back. You really are caught between two stools there. And in the end, Joe Maguire picks the right option. Just make sure you clear it and gets his head to it. 
Real Madrid corner. A little Brad Steller, it's hooked away off the line by that man Maguire again. Now Febas, great strike off the crossbar. Molina! How did that stay out? Incredible action in this UEFA Youth League match. Well, smashes off the crossbar. Again, it's a decent corner. Far post is Joe Maguire, that is a good position. And then the shot here. Absolutely rockets against the crossbar from Febas. Tedres took a quick in by Tejero, glancing header, and it's in! It's the big Austrian centre-back who's got Real Madrid back into it, Philippe Lienhardt. Well worked corner, Alvaro Tejero with the cross, and Philippe Lienhardt gets Real Madrid back in the game. Borja Sanchez again. Lovely play by the Real Madrid number eight. One two with Harper. Sanchez! That's a great goal by the substitute. It's 2 2. A magnificent orchestrated equalizer, you have to say. Quality level. Yeah, quality goal. The substitute, Borja Sanchez. A little give and go. He doesn't stop, he doesn't give it up. He's in possession quite a bit. Jinking and weaving and bobbing and into the 18-yard box in the first time shot it's an absolute perler I thought he'd gone wide to be honest with you the layoff by Harper a lot of positives to take from this outing today undoubtedly good strength from Canos Liverpool might win it Jerome Sinclair still and now Rossiter great ball Wilson That was brilliant from the captain, Jordan Rossiter. Great composure by the 17-year-old. He didn't have to look where Wilson was. Good play by Sinclair initially, too. Well, again, Liverpool win it in a good area of the pitch. When the ball comes back to Jordan Rossiter, he had a little trick from Sinclair. He could easily have just put his foot through and had the shot, but certainly Harry Wilson was in a far better position to his right-hand side, and he just knocks the ball right into the path of the little winger.